Well, welcome back. Maverick, part two, the wings. Um, now, there is a little caveat to this. I have been umming and ahhing about what wing to make. I did think about doing the Maverick, the full Maverick F5K. I always find struggle with saying that. Um, now, so there are actually two wings. Let me show you. Well, there, there's a slight mod. So the F5K is dihedral in the center and dihedral at the tip. In the kit you will see that there is a SL version and an R version. And if I hold those up you can actually see the difference. So the idea, S -I -S -L, meaning slope. So you've still got the dihedral in the center, but the outboard is flat. I'm gonna go for that. Uh, I'm gonna go for the SL version. And uh, let's see how we get on. But um, it will make no difference to the build process. Just remember when you're cutting out all your ribs, all of these little tongues you see on here on the ply, and also on the wood versions like this don't remove these because when we're building the wing they're actually going to sit on these little um, uh, templates so identify all your parts let's crack on and uh, just I'm starting with the right wing because we know that um, making the right wing is always the lucky thing to do um, you should never build the left wing first we all know that that um, it's an unwritten rule, always build the right wing first, it'll always fly better. Right, there we go, I have got ribs. R1 through to 19 and I'm going mine have got SL written on them I'm going for the slope version and also remember that these two intermediate ribs here have got R17 has got SL on it and that one's got SL on it as well because that's important to get the angles right now also you're going to need your trailing edge which is on this one is CP and then for the actual flap construction, you've got FL, which is the spar. And then we are running RF1 all the way through to RF10. So RF1 and 2 are the thicker sections. And then RF10 is a thicker section as well. Um, don't worry about this yet, because um, I've got a cunning plan for that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get ourselves our um, 6 by 4 millimeter carbon fiber tube and uh, we're going to build this. Now when you're building it do not add the final rib at the moment uh, because we need to do a little bit of jiggery pokery with that. Right, the last bit of the trailing edge is carbon fibre and what I've done is I've actually just cut mine to length, rolled it into place, kept it pinned so the pins are pushing it tight up against each rib and then I very carefully went along very and just did a little fine little addition of some Sino at the moment, not going mad, I'm just going to tack that, then when it's all dry I'm going to remove it off the bench take it outside and I shall add um, some more Sino. Right, well, update. Uh, basic right wing done. Basic left flap done. Um, now, the one little tip I would give on doing the flap, you've got this thing called FH here, which is obviously for the, the block for the horn. Um, I cut and sanded mine to shape because it's just square so it's going to need a taper in it and I put my taper in before I fitted it 
because um, if you start sanding or trying to plane that with a knife around all this carbon fibre, that's an accident waiting to happen. So you can thank me for that later. Um, so the idea is what we've got to do now is build the left side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. You don't need me to do that. The process is going to be exactly the same. Remembering I'm using the SL versions on 18, sorry, 17, 18 and 19. So just remember you've select the right end ribs to whatever configuration you're building the wing. When I've done the other wing, um, I'll get back to us. The other half of the wing I'll get back to you. And then we'll be doing the joining. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll do that little bit. And then I'll build one outer tip for you. And that will be your video finished. So I'm just going to move these down slightly because it, that's a little bit difficult to follow when it's like that. So I'm just going to move these down here. You're going to need these WBs. And the idea is that they are going to sit into this interstitial position here, like so. So what we're going to do, we're going to need those. You're going to need your carbon fibre, the wing joiner. And then you're going to need these set of bad boys. So that's WB, WB2, and WB3. And then on the top bit, you're going to need WT1 and WT2. But at the moment, we don't need those. So first thing we're going to do is... I wonder how good this is going to go with me doing it on the camera. Let's put that on there. And then that then fits in there like so. Whoa. Alright, I'll give I'll have that. Right now. As in the um some of the pictures I've seen, um so that's that joined together like so. So the idea is is that these WBs right, it's always the way when you're on the camera. Right, that's dropped in here. So don't cut these off thinking that there's something to do with the uh, laser cutting these are actually part of the um, spacer so now can you see that oh I'm gonna flip that one out right there now that's in there like so that's in there like so that's how they go so I'm just gonna get this wing joiner all together and then I am going to join, I'm going to glue this, this and this all together. Making sure that this is nice and neat at the back. And then the next thing to do is to um, go on to the sheeting. Right, okay, tell you what I've done. I've flipped my worksheet over because it's just easier for us to see this. Now, I have glued the trailing edges. I have glued the WBs in and the spars in and uh, so the next thing is you've got WB1 WB2 and WB3 that go they go underneath and this is W1 WT1 and WT2 so let me just show you what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dropping these into these little notches here so there's just going to be looks like to me it's going to be a little bit of fettling just to drop in there so you'll know they're going to be in the right place when that hole lines up so I've got those to do and also now just remember that the little tags need removing so I've just removed the tags and um, I just gave they came off very cleanly but I just gave mine a little lick with this just to get it clean so these the bottom ones which is WB3 is going to sit on there like so that's WB2 like so and then that's WB1 like so so there you go we've just got to get those there's going to be a little bit of jiggling to go in here um, but I'm going to use PVA and I'm just going to clamp these in place right there we go bottom sheeting done top sheeting's done all done in alphatic and uh, where possible I'm clamping I just had to do a little bit of trimming with this not a lot just to get this to engage in here um, but there we go I'm now going to leave that to dry off overnight 
and while that's drying I'm going to start looking at the outer panels. Right, basic wing done. The only thing that you've not seen me do is put these little fillets in. Now, on the, inst uh, on the uh, plan, they're shaped in grey. So in other words, it's basically a bit of scrap. Uh, just out of interest, if you want to know, I use this bit of balsa um, and cut the corners off. And when I got them in position, got them set and then just whipped a little bit of cyano in to give them some real strength. So that's the only other thing you won't have seen me out of there in. Uh, the flaps are done. Now that is all going away to one side to be sanded a little bit later. The next thing we're on to is we're going to do the two outer tips. Remember we all start on the right hand side because that's, um, you know, that's the rules, that's the law. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's crack on with these winglets. Oh, Let's crack on with their outer wing panels. Right, the outer tips, both outer tips have done. Um, only tip that I would give, uh, when you put the winglet on here, I cut a groove into the end of the winglet there, just to accept the tube. And I just used a little Dremel and just cut a small slot about uh, five or six mil into that. Now, caution. So you'll be coming to this bit now because um, I've highlighted something earlier. This is entirely my fault, but there is, I am in my defense. Let me show you something. This tube here, I didn't realize is supposed to be cut in half and there's a slight difference between the two carbon tubes. So the idea of this tube, because it was cut to almost the same length, I just dropped that into the center panel. No. This tube, which has got the wrapped carbon fibre, is to accept the wing dowels and is supposed to go in here and is cut to length. In my defence, I just literally took the size of it and thought, oh yeah, that fits in there and slammed that in, it's all glued. And of course at the moment, um, my wing dowels won't fit because I've used the wrong bit of tube. Uh, Jean very kindly is sending me another piece of tube and uh, to be fair, uh, on the plans it just says 6x4 carbon fibre tube. I picked it up, thought oh that looks exactly the right length, how clever he's cut that to length and uh, I dropped that in and I've got it wrong. So a little cautionary tale, if you are coming up to this bit just be careful when you're selecting your tubes. So that's the whole wing done of the Maverick. I'm now going to have a mass sanding <coughs> 
snigger. Um, what I like to do is, is I like to get it all together and I've got my hoover going, I'm wearing a mask and I do the whole thing together. So the next video you're going to see, the wings will be sanded and we'll be looking at installation of radio gear and covering for the Maverick F5K slope version.